Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna do a little skincare haul. I feel like you can never go wrong with skincare. You gotta take care of your skin, especially on your face and your neck and the backs of your hands. Really, really delicate skin and obviously the older you get, the more you need to take care of it. So I recently placed a little order to pick up some new skincare that I hadn't tried out before. This is a brand, this, well, this isn't a brand new company. It's brand new to me. I have never tried them. And that is Good Molecules. <laughs> um, I had seen quite a bit about people using them, people liking them and so on and so forth. And I decided why not? Let's try them out. Um, their products are very, very well priced. I would compare them to the ordinary as far as their product prices and like i feel like they're kind of like competing companies they're both like hey look at me i'm not super expensive i'm affordable i'm easy to get um good molecules um, i don't think they're sold in stores anywhere i could be wrong um i did order from their website but it came in you know like it was delivered really quick or shipped really quick so no issues with that so if you can, you can sit on your couch in your undies and order some good skincare. Um, obviously I wanted to use this stuff before I just like pulled it out of the box and said, look what I got, I got this. And then that was it. I wanted to use everything so I could like explain to you what I liked about it, talk about it and all that stuff. So I have been using these products for about two weeks, maybe a little more. And I will say I really do enjoy these products. These will be like a repurchase, kind of like whenever I bought a bunch of The Ordinary's products and tried them out. Um, some of those are still staple products of mine, but I'm always on the lookout for the best skincare for my skin. So anyways, let's talk about what I got. First of all, I ordered this little guy, which is just like a little cleansing mitt. It is not rough. It is very soft. I have used this quite a bit. It's not in the best condition right now. It is a teensy bit stained on this side because I used it to get a clay mask off of my face the other night. Um, but as you can see, it is just this cute little soft white cleansing mitt. You put your cleanser on there and can rub it on your face. It is really nice. I have had a cold. I've been blowing my nose so much. So my nose is so raw. Obviously, you know how it gets when your nose is raw. You just don't want to touch it. So this has come in handy when washing around that area because it's really gentle. It's not abrasive. And I really do enjoy that. And I don't really feel the need. What is that sound? There's a lot of snow and ice outside right now, so there's like flowers and all kinds of stuff going on. I'm sorry, I apologize in advance if you can hear some sounds. And obviously I'm still getting over my um, sinus infection, cold, and I am a little stuffy, a little sniffly, so I apologize for that as well. Anyways, I really do enjoy this. I do not use like my exfoliating spin brush or like harsh products every night, especially when I don't have any makeup on and I haven't worn makeup in days. Something like this is really, really nice. So I do enjoy this and it was very well priced. I will have everything linked down below so you can follow those links to check out the prices and the descriptions and all of that stuff for each product um, if I do not cover what you are wondering about. All right, so next thing I picked up was the Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. And this is just like a cleansing gel. You dispense a small amount in the palms and massage on the face to create a, a light lather. Rinse well, use after a cleansing balm for a double cleanse, which I do have a cleansing, a cleansing cream that I really enjoy from The Ordinary. So I use that prior to this, especially if like I have on a lot of makeup and I need to really, really cleanse. And this product is very gentle, as is the other product I use, so my face doesn't feel stripped, dry, crunchy, or tight afterwards, and I really enjoy that. This is not in the box. I kept the boxes for you guys so you could see, like, the packaging, but I'm so happy that I get to 
throw all these boxes away and this box because I've just been using these products out of this box and I've just been carrying this box to the bathroom and anyway so this is what the actual cleanser bottle looks like it's in I'm pretty sure this is glass or like the thickest most glass like plastic ever anyways you get four ounces in this bottle and like I said everything is very well priced I do not have the prices pulled up and my phone's over there but I will link everything down below and I will probably pop a little like picture on the screen that will have the prices so I got you covered Anyway, so this is the Rosewater Day Daily Cleansing Gel, and I was a little hesitant to buy this at first because of the word rosewater, and I was like, oh no. Sometimes rose-scented things can be very overpowering, and they can just be like sickly almost. So I was like, I do not want anything that smells like an elderly woman and is like so overpowering with rose scent. Don't worry, it doesn't. I really can barely even tell that there is like a rose scent at all. It is very lightly scented. This is suitable for the AM and PM every day. So it's gentle. And honestly, guys, I really do like this cleanser. It does have a light lather and I do enjoy a lather. I am someone that when I'm using cleanser, um, I do enjoy a lather. It does make me feel cleaner. Anyway, so it does have a light lather for all of my ladies and gentlemen out there that love a lather when they're washing their face to really, you know, feel clean. Really like this. I'm enjoying it. And you really don't need a ton. Like it doesn't even look like I've used any. I have got like this much out of the top. Um, you don't need a ton of it and that's also what I enjoy like sometimes I feel like it's just like in our nature as humans to just like pump out a crap ton in your hand or on your brush or your whatever you're washing your face with and just like you know have way too much your face isn't that big you don't need a ton of product so you can conserve bleh, conserve product in return, that means you're spending less money because your money is making it a longer distance out of your product. So always keep that in mind. The next thing I picked up is the, ooh, mm, I will, like I said, I'm going to pop something up about each of these products. It's the Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. I am probably saying that completely wrong, but it's Y-E-R-B-A. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, but it is a wake up eye gel. It's formulated to help revitalize and energize your eye area. And I completely feel like it does do that. It gives you like a really cooling sensation under your eye, not like super cold, but you can feel it working. And I really feel like it like really wakes up your under eye and I really do enjoy it. It has the list of ingredients on the back and I really love products and companies that use products, no, that use ingredients in their products that they aren't trying to hide from you because what you put on your body is going to go in your body. It's very important for your health to know what you're putting on as well as in. So, um, okay, so a the Yerba Mate, if I'm saying that right, is a native plant in the Atlantic rainforest of Brazil. It's naturally rich in antioxidants and polyphenols, which help slow down the oxidation process, resulting in more radiant, energized skin. Okay, awesome. I really like that. I didn't know. So apparently this is like derived from a plant. Anyways, their products are never tested on animals. So that is another thing that I really enjoy about them. And you can use this in the AM and in the PM. You're supposed to just apply a small amount under the eyes and the orbital bone and massage outward. Outward. And gently pat any excess until gel cream is fully absorbed can be used underneath makeup and obviously don't get it in your eyeball. I have used it underneath my makeup today and it does go well under makeup. So that is not a lie. 
either. Um, I really do enjoy this and I will be keeping it. As far as I know, it's not supposed to help with wrinkles. So you would need to use in conjunction with an eye cream that helps with wrinkles and skin elasticity and things such as that. But this is really nice. Um, I'm almost positive you could probably put this in the refrigerator and have it cooled and really give yourself that cooling effect underneath your eyes, especially if you wake up with puffy eyes, this would be great to use in the morning. So. I really enjoy this and glad I got it and I probably will repurchase in the future. Um, this tube, let me show you the tube instead of just the box. This tube is actually quite large if you see this. Like this is quite large. Let's see. It's 0.50 ounces which is quite a bit when you're just using a tiny bit underneath your eyes. So this will last quite a long time and that is nice. All right, the next thing I picked up is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and it's formulated to draw moisture into the skin for deeper hydration, and you guys know I am a dry girl, and anytime I see Hyaluronic Acid Serums, I'm going to pick them up and try them out. So, I picked this one up. It is also suitable for the AM and the PM, so you can use it in the morning and at night, which is great, and I have been. Um, apply a few drops in the morning and at night before oils and moisturizers. Let absorb for 30 seconds, and it is suitable for daily use. You can use this every day. It will be completely fine. Um, the pH is 5.6. And obviously it does not have a ton of ingredients, which I do enjoy. Um, and it's really self-explanatory to be honest with you. This is the bottle and it is just a dropper like so many of these products are. I do enjoy the dropper. I feel like sometimes droppers, like as soon as you pull it out, it's like trying to drip out and you waste product. This one, I do not feel like I am wasting product. I like this. I really think that it's a nice product and I will continue to use it and probably repurchase it. Um, obviously, I haven't used it for a long term to really give you like any hardcore info, but in the future, obviously, if I feel like this has worked miracles for my skin, I will let you guys know because I'm not gonna keep any secrets from you guys, especially if it comes to a bomb skincare item that is really good in price. So I really am enjoying this and will continue to enjoy this, I am sure. And this time of year, it is really helping with dry skin because, oh my gosh, I'm so dry. And since being sick, everything is just dry on my face. My poor lips are dry and cracking. It's just, ugh. Anyways, Moving right along, we only have two more products that I picked up and then I'm going to talk about a sample that they gave me that I will be ordering. So, almost done. Hang in there. Alright, so the next thing I picked up is the Daily Brightening Serum and this is formulated with Beta Arbitin. Guys, don't come for me, okay? I'm not a scientist. Um, and Hyaluronic Acid to gently brighten your skin tone. So I was really intrigued by this. I've never really dabbled in too many brightening products. So I was like, you know what? It's a good price. Um, all of these products together that I picked up were under $50. So that is really good because a lot of times serums themselves can be upwards of $100. So and I'm a firm believer in you get what you pay for, but I also believe that there are ways that companies can make good skincare at affordable prices. So I don't know. That's why we're testing them out. But I picked this up because I was like, you know what? I'm getting older. I have more like discoloration on my face. Thankfully, I don't have it too badly, but I was like, who won't like want really bright luminescent skin so i was like let's try it out and i'm not gonna lie i actually did notice a difference after using it which i was really surprised because i kind of thought maybe it was gimmicky um but obviously kind of the same instructions as most serums um are you apply a fruit 
I can't talk today. Apply a few drops in the morning and at night before oils and moisturizers. Let absorb for 30 seconds. And it is suitable for daily use. My God, people, I think someone's got a wood chipper outside. So, thank you. So glad that you are here with your loud truck. Um, also, there is a house down the street and they have movers at their house and that's the truck you hear driving by. Um, but I actually did notice a difference from this little guy after using it. I used it like two or three times. Like I said, my face is really dry. So any products that could be tingly or a little irritating, I've tried to avoid the past like couple of days just because like I'm so dry right here and I didn't want to irritate already dry, irritated skin. But I really did enjoy this and I, I, I was surprised when I noticed my skin looking brighter and more youthful the next morning because I used this at night. So I will continue to use this and if I notice a crazy difference, I will report back. And then here is the last product that I bought and it is the Overnight Exfoliating Treatment. It's formulated with AHA and BHA to help resurface and renew skin. So basically it's going to kind of take off that initial layer of just like dry, crusty, just that, that skin on top that's not in the best shape get it out of here let's let that new beautiful fresh skin underneath shine through and that is what this little guy does this suggests that you only use at night and then the next day make sure that you apply spf they do not want you to use this on a daily basis um they only want you to use this up to three times a week. So you're not going to want to use this every night. This is not an every night kind of product, but you're going to apply a few drops to clean skin at night and fully absorb before applying anything else to your skin. So before you do any serums or moisturizers or eye creams or anything like that, you're going to want to apply a couple of drops to this to your skin and like I said, use up to three times per week. It may cause irritation if used with a retinol or other acids. Um, this does have a bit of a tingly sensation. It was not painful. It did not hurt. All I did was is I took um, something off of my vanity and I just kind of like fanned my face as it was drying and absorbing into the skin and it just made it feel a little cool instead of more tingly and no big deal at all. I do have sensitive skin and this did not bother me in the slightest. So if you have sensitive skin, I'm fairly confident that this will not cause any like severe reaction, but obviously you can do a test patch and make sure that you don't have any bad reactions before putting it all over your face. And that is probably a smart thing to do. I just slapped it all over my face. Um, Obviously, this is to promote brighter, fresher skin with a balanced blend of glycolic, lactic, and salicylic acids. How I said that without completely getting tongue tested, I'll never know. But obviously, with products like this, your skin is going to be a little bit more tender, a little bit more susceptible to the sun. So if you're out the next day and you're not staying in your house, then you need to make sure you're applying your, your sunscreen to your face, which you should be doing every day. You should have at least a moisturizer or something that you're applying to your face that contains an SPF. So just to be sure and take care of your skin, skin cancer is not worth, not worth all that. Anyway, so that's the last product I picked up. So as you can see, I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, I bought six products and they were under $50. Um, can, was there a little coupon code, a discount code? I can't remember if I used one or not. I do know that I got free shipping. Um, I think you only have to spend $20 to get free shipping, but all of that info will be linked down below for you guys. And they did give me a little sample of their silicone free priming moisturizer. And I thought I threw this in the cart with this order. I don't know, I must have thought about it and then didn't. But 
It's formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and a plant-derived silicone alternative to deeply hydrate, smooth, and nourish the skin. And you can use this in the AM and PM and with, you know, like the same as any moisturizer. You want to gently massage onto cleansed skin. When using sunscreen, let priming moisturizer fully absorb before applying suitable for daily use. I really enjoyed this. It's a pretty good size sample, obviously, but I really enjoy this. So I'm going to have to hop back on the website and order this in the full size bottle so I can continue to use it because I do enjoy it. And I think it is really nice underneath your makeup. It doesn't say anything about makeup. It doesn't have any claims about makeup, but it is really nice. And the words priming are in the title. So I really do enjoy putting it on um, before my makeup. So, ah, this doesn't have any prices. I was going to tell you what everything costs real quick, but like I said, you've probably already been seeing little pop-ups with each product. So this concludes this Good Molecules haul. I'm really glad that I've tried them out. And you know, the more I try out different skincare, the more I kind of find like holy grail products that I cannot live without. And so that's how you get like a really good solid skincare routine is you continue to try out products. And then before you know it, you've got those solid core products that you cannot live without that are amazing for your specific skin. So I suggest like if you've got some products that aren't cutting it or you've got a certain thing that you want to work on, find a skincare product, try it out until it's gone and see if you like it. Like that's the only way you're going to find out if you know, like what works for you. So this is a good option because their prices are really affordable and yeah. So anyways, I love you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe before you go. Give me a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed this video and leave any ideas for things that you would like to see in the future down below. Hit that bell so you're notified whenever I upload next and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.